Hi there, I'm Emma from Value Hearing. I'm a clinical audiologist and in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips to share with your friends and family when communicating via video calls. The reason we're making it now, this video, is simply because so many of us in Australia are in lockdown and some of us have been in lockdown for months. So we're relying on things like video calls to communicate with our friends and family. So we felt it pertinent to give you some communication tactics that you can use, but you can also share with your friends and family. So having a video call is much nicer than a phone call in many ways that we can see each other's faces and we can have those visual cues to a certain extent to help with the communication. But the audio quality and even the video quality is not always fantastic. So it can make understanding of the speech coming through that video call a little tricky at times for all of us, not just for those of us with hearing loss, but for those of us with normal hearing, it's even quite tricky. So I think everyone will appreciate these tips. So number one, please keep the camera steady. Those people who are walking around the street, holding their phones up, having conversations while they're multitasking, aren't doing anyone any favors for good communication. So the camera really needs to be steady, not bouncing around. So ideally prop it up on a solid surface. It will make everyone's life so much easier to not have a face bouncing all over the screen, to be able to read the lips a little bit better and see the facial expressions. Number two, try and make sure your face is close enough to the camera. Don't have your face way back at the other end of the room from where the camera is. You really want to be nice and close to the camera so that people can actually see your lips and again, read your expressions. Lighting is very, very important. So don't have a room that's too bright. You don't want the sun shining in your face. You certainly don't want a light behind your head shining onto the camera. It will make seeing each other's faces really, really tricky. So just nice natural lighting, nothing too bright, but definitely not too dark either. So don't be in a really dark room with just a lamp on. That will obviously make it very difficult to see each other's lips and faces. Now, this is not always possible. Many of us are having big conference calls with family members from lots of different homes at the same time. But if possible, if you can make some of your calls in smaller groups, it will make communication much easier for everyone. So if there's only two or three people on the call at the same time, it will be much easier to understand what's been said and keep up the conversation rather than if there's 20 or 30. Obviously, it's not always avoidable, but ideal if you can. Check that you've got the fastest bandwidth you can access. So find the best spot in the house for the Wi-Fi reception, for example. Sometimes Wi-Fi isn't as good as the mobile network, so check and see which one has the fastest bandwidth. This will make a huge, huge difference to the quality of the audio and also the visual cues that you'll be getting. So sometimes sitting out in the garden on a video call is nice, but if you're not getting the best reception, you're not really giving the best chances for everyone to hear and understand what's been said as well as possible. Now, this one's very idealistic, but if possible, if there's a group of you together and someone's doing most of the talking for that minute or two, if everyone else can mute their microphone, it will really clean the signal up. Believe it or not, although you may be in a really quiet room, the microphone on your phone will be picking up all sorts of sounds around you. And that can be really, really distracting. So if everyone who isn't speaking can mute their microphone and unmute it when they begin to speak, then you'll notice the signal is so much cleaner. Another idealistic one here, but it can work with a bit of practice. If everyone can speak one person at a time, that is ideal. There will be times where accidentally people talk over each other with delays and whatnot on video chat. But ideally, if people can take a breath and just speak one person at a time in general, it will make it much easier for everyone to hear the conversation and also keep up with the topics as they change. Just, it's a habit that we can build. It takes a bit of practice, but it really, really makes it less tiresome to communicate in groups on video calls. And then there's the obvious ones, which are communication tactics that we give you for just day-to-day -day conversations, even in person, such as 
asking the person you're speaking with to speak slowly and clearly. So rather than shouting at the camera, if they can just slow it down a little bit and speak a bit more clearly. If they're saying something and they've said it a few times now and you still haven't been able to understand what they've said, ask them to rephrase it, to just find a different way to ask that question or explain that concept. You'll find your brain will be able to make more sense of it then. So saying the same thing over and over again often doesn't work. Rephrasing can make it much, much easier. And just a little bonus tip. If you are going to be communicating for, on video calls for quite a long time, which most of us will, you can actually purchase lapel microphones you can plug into your mobile phone at a pretty low cost. Seriously, five or $10 microphones can be fantastic. And it just gives you so much better sound quality. It's quite phenomenal, the difference, and it picks up much less noise around you as well. So a lapel mic could be handy, something to look at and consider if you're going to be on video calls a lot. Well, look, I hope this helps you a little bit through these difficult times in Australia. Everything helps. It's so important that we still keep in touch with our friends and family. Video calls can be tiring, but with these tips, it may make it just a little bit easier for everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please like and share it. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. It really helps increase our reach. For any comments, any questions, or even suggestions for other videos you'd like to see us making here at Valley Hearing, please leave them in the little comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy.